All right, so here we are. Jay, what, what's the overall strategy that we're trying to employ here? What, what are we doing on day one? All right, my friend, day one, um, what we're doing, real simple. I'm gonna hit up all my friends and my fellow collectors and uh, gonna see if they have anything to donate to the cause. Um, gonna be purchasing some games, but the thing is they are collectors too, so I don't know what they're quite willing to part with, so. So what's the know. what's the strategy on hitting on hitting up you know the guys that we know first versus going into a store? Well, I mean, first and foremost, they're my friends, so hopefully I'm going to be getting a good deal on these things. Who knows? Turn right onto Adelaide Street South. All right. Yeah, that's right. Um, obviously, the stores are going to be more expensive, so I, I am looking forward to the adventure and all the different stores we're going to. But I have to keep in mind I have a limited budget and I have to get 700 games, right? So I'm gonna try and knock off as many as I can from my buddies, we'll see what they got. Now, this is day one, we've talked about it a little bit, the track is beginning, you know, so what, what lies ahead? Why is this the best way going forward and you know, what's tomorrow got in store? Well, I mean, this is the easiest. My buddy's all in town here, so we're gonna do that first. Um, before we hit the road, go to some of our favorite shops, right? Some of our favorite game shops. Um, we're gonna do that in the next few days before we hit the road road. A lot of roads. A lot of roads. <laughs> so what are, what are your concerns uh, about today? I mean, you mentioned that we got, we're trying to hit collectors, but you know, is, is that the biggest obstacle or how many games are you hoping that you get out of, out of your friends and buddies and associates? Well, because this has been sort of hush hush, it's been difficult for me to try and get the number of games each person has. Um, I don't know, man. I would like to. I would like to knock off a chunk of the common ones. Um, I don't know how, how many uncommon or rare games I'm going to find. I like to get. I like to say a hundred. I don't know if that's too ambitious. You want to get a hundred today? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a, a realistic number. A hundred games. You want to get one seventh, roughly. Yeah, but you gotta, you gotta remember, Rob, the common stuff is gonna be the stuff we're gonna run across the most, obviously. And I think a lot of people are gonna have that stuff. But that's what I mean. A lot of people are gonna have the same common games. Right. Everybody's gonna have Mario Duck Hunt today. Yeah. Well, you know what? If we can get package deals, I'll take them and trade them in at shops we visit, right? No harm in that. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we talked about your budget. We're not gonna be showing a number. Right. We're going to be talking in terms of percentage. What are you looking to spend percentage wise, knowing that your budget is X? Honestly, some of my closest friends, I'm hoping less than a percent. I'm hoping, I mean, I'm going to approach this like I approach each destination. If it's not a good deal in the long run, I'm not doing it. I, I can't afford it. It's, it's simple as that. And if I run out of cash, <laughs> Wow. So what's more important, finding like the, the elusive 20 that we keep talking about and getting a deal on those so that it's reasonable. I mean, those ones are going to obviously be more money. We've talked about that. Or learning like the, the difference between the $5 and the $3 common games and saving potentially $1,200 and only paying three. Like I would like to find some of the elusive 20 that I don't think is going to happen, but... <laughs> Basically what I want to do. So let, let's talk about that then. What makes it one of the 20? Based on what? Uh, production run, year it was released. Um, a lot of the back half of the NES life cycle is um, overlooked because Genesis, Super Nintendo, Turbo Graphics were fighting each other. No one wanted the NES, no one wanted the Master System, nobody wanted the NES, right? So. A lot of the later games aren't necessarily the best. They just have the shortest production run. So, but one of the things helping you is this: the NES Collector app, which, which helps rate these games on a scale of one to twelve in terms of rarity. Absolutely, you can scroll through them by title, pick on any title. Let's pick Alpha Mission, for example, by SNK. You see some box art. Yep. You can also hit more info. You'll get some information displayed there. So this is like a four to twelve. You know, it's for rarity, yeah. For rarity, 12. Let's just establish that, everyone, that, that 12 is the highest rarity rating there is. So if a game is 12 out of 12, it's almost impossible to find. Or it's such a short printing that it's very, very, very scarce. Now, these are the games I call eBay games. Yeah. 
11, 12 out of 12, 10 out of 12, those are ones that are, are easier to find on eBay, but out in the wild, those are gonna be really, really tough to get. And what's great about this app is that you can actually hit this button here, not owned, and you can configure what, what version you own, if it's just the cart, yeah. if it's the manual and box. And this is how you're going to be doing your mission, Jay. Yep, uh, Mike and I are gonna keep track of, of everything. Um, if I happen to be lucky and get the box for the game, that's a score. If I get the manual, we're gonna add that. And actually that increases the value of the collection, um, especially NES boxes. Very rare, mm -hmm. very rare. So is your, I know you've had the app before, mm -hmm. is your app all clear and ready to yeah. start counting? Yeah, the, the other systems are still my collection, but the NES one is clear and it reads zero games. All right, so it's going to start today. We're on our way to uh, Shannon and Murray's place. Yep. We'll see what they've got and uh, let it begin. All right. do this so gonna go see Murray and Shannon right now it's the first stop they better have little Samson oh we're already worrying about those 20 those are the ones man I'm telling you right well, let's just be thankful for what we got <laughs> never <laughs> better knock I suppose ring Hello. Holy moly. What's up guys? Mario and Luigi. What a surprise. My friends. How are you? What's up, buddy? How are you? How are you, man? Good to see ya. Good to see you. How's everything going? Good, good. Ready to start this? I am. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. We'll go downstairs. You guys can see You You guys look awesome. That's fine. Getting the, you know, the cheap ones. <laughs> no. Well, here, how about you hand them to me? Yeah, that would be cooler, hey? Well, so let's go over here. Can you guys hand them to me? And you can show me. You can tell me about each game. I don't think they know these They don't know these ones. Well, these, are, then, these are ones we haven't let them then, see. Then little Mer can tell me about them. <laughs> so yeah. we got Swords, Swords and, and Serpents. serpents. I've never actually ever seen this one, so that's no? pretty cool. No. Good start. Price. <laughs> <laughs> what, free to free? <laughs> Oh, the El Bandito video cases. Base is loaded. Right on. Even with the number on it. What else we got, bud? Golf. All right, so this is special because these are my favorite, the black box ones, right? Number one is golf, so that's the record. Nice. There you go. There's 30 of these black box ones. That's number one. Kai Warriors 2. Oh, wow. What a great game. No, we don't know that one, though, do we? Baseball simulator with some sweet damage there. So that's going to play. It still works. It still that'll, works. That'll be good. Jaws. Shark week. Yeah. So we got some Jaws here. I'll go swimming. Go swimming. You guys got a lot of games. Yeah. Bucky O'Hare. Wow. You guys like that one? We've only no. got it to work a couple times. It's, yeah. it's a tough play, that one. Konami. Cheers. Uh-oh. That's a scary one. Yeah, but well, we don't play that one. This is for the grown-ups, this one. Friday the 13th. It's, it's a good a date. It's a good scary date. movie. I'll show you when you're older. All right. So what do you guys? Want so what do we want for it? How about this? When you're done your shoot, come back, have a beer with me, and uh, maybe give me a signed copy. Hey, buddy. Maybe that's this. awesome. Yeah, that's a deal for sure. Right on. Man. Yeah. Right on. Done. You guys look awesome. Why don't you look up? What which game do you think is the most rare? I can tell you. I pretty much already know. Uh, it's uh, Bucky O'Hara, Swords and Serpents. Which one? Which one though? Um, I'm gonna say Swords and Serpents. I'm gonna say you're probably wrong. No. Bucky O'Hara. Uh, yeah, Bucky O'Hara is pretty rare. It's nine or twelve. Nice. And I think uh, loose. It's over fifty bucks. Yep. Well, are you serious? Oh yeah. It's a tough one to find. The, oh the, man. The first comment on Twitter from the picture I posted was Bucky O Rare. <laughs> oh man. See, that's awesome. Yeah, aren't they terrific? Pretty awesome cool, man. People, man. So nice. So what's your strategy for the next place? Uh, so we're going to see my buddy Mike, who I, I uh, met as a customer uh, where I work. Known Mike for a while. And um, just going to see what he's asking. 
hopefully it's not too much and uh, hopefully he's got a few that are rare that would be pretty sweet just gonna feel it out see how it goes so how many games did you just get from those guys okay I got I got nine so you need 91 more before the end of the day yeah well that was my what I wanted but that <laughs> Well, this is what I mean when I ask about expectations, right? Well, that was my expectation. You wanted 100, you got nine, so you got 91 to go. You know what it is? I think I wanted 100 just to take, because just by finding out that the Bucky O'Hare is worth that much, I feel like weight's being lifted off my chest. So I think I want more weight, right? So I'm just, I'm thinking big right now. I'm thinking big. I like it. I like it. So Swords and Serpents is a six out of 12. It's only worth $3. Okay. Well then, it's, it's rare to me, I suppose, because I've never seen it. So, that's still cool. Didn't didn't get the Archon off Murray. Damn it. <laughs> Archon's a tough one. And it's an amazing, amazing game. It's like chess, but when you get on the same square, you fight in real time. Archon's awesome. Isn't it How, how come you didn't press for it? Well, when they said it was... Better press. When they said it was free, and, and then my friends, generosity is... Okay. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to push yeah. that. Like I could be literally minus what twenty bucks here, but I'm not. So I'm taking that and but for Archon and smiling. No, nah, I'll, I'll find Archon. I'll find it. The point is, there there are going to be these games that are out there that are off limits. Yeah, but I got a personal connection with Murray, and You're I have a personal connection with a lot of people. I happen to know for a fact that Archon is his favorite game, and I couldn't do that to him. But let's just ask him. Yeah, we'll see. Everybody I'll, has a price. I'll handle it. Don't worry. So that better not, not be gonna... the tagline of the movie. <laughs> Everyone has a price for stadium events. <laughs> yeah, 75 grand. All right, stop number two. First one, we got nine games. Are we rolling? Yeah. Cameras are always on. Yeah, so first stop, we got nine games, which is totally awesome. Uh, got a really good price on them. This one, uh, my buddy Mike. We'll see. We'll see what uh, what it brings. Much. How are you, man? Good to see you. Don't mind the little bugger. Hey, sweetie. Hello. Just gonna smell my dogs. <laughs> yeah. So here you got yourselves a little bit of project going on. Yep. Yep. Uh, appreciate the contact, definitely. So okay. let's take a look at your uh, your stuff here. Just so you know, before we start. Yeah. Not all of it's going on donation, but the fair portion of it is. Oh yeah, no, that's cool, man. Which titles are you holding back? Well, the original gold-plated Zeldas, uh, Final Fantasy, and the Mario series. Wow, I like the setup, man. Very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. So tell me a bit about your collection here. What do you... Uh... Well been collecting for a while or I started back in 87 yeah started, uh, at Christmas when I was three years old right so we had uh, Sesame Street and Mario and a few other games so ah Sesame Street you have three of them well, that, three different titles that's pretty cool so. yeah I think there's four all together so that's that's pretty sweet mm -hmm. so what else we got here let's check it out so no Mario's, right? We're not doing the well, Mario's? Well, there are a few of them. I doubled up on some of them for you. It's just the ones towards the back behind the TV. Okay. Golf. <laughs> sweet, Dr. Mario. The box, that's mm -hmm. pretty sweet. Okay, so which? show me which ones here are... Basically, the ones are kind of off limits are from here over to here, minus the Kirby. The Kirby you can have. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can live with that. You got Taboo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever played it? I was thinking about it. You never played it though? It is, Mike, eh? It's a tarot card game. It is. Is it tarot cards? I pronounce it. It is brutal. But hey, gotta get it, right? So you got the Zelda, you got Godzilla, we got some fishing. Classic black bass, which was uh, nothing like real fishing, which is yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got some bad dudes. Can't live without bad dudes, right? I actually asked um, for a friend of mine, and it was. Yeah, and it was one of the first NES games with digitized voices too, which was pretty, it's it's bad. No pun intended, it's bad. Uh, Legacy, sweet. Um, 
Okay, so let's talk here, deals. Um, so are these ones you don't want to part with or they just have a price tag on them? Well, there's no price. It's more of a sentimental value. Okay. That's so. cool. Yeah. The, the Zeldas, I, I, I totally get. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And the Mario's, all that stuff. That's fine, man. But like I said, for the rest of them, I'm actually donating. So. Well, I really appreciate that, buddy. That's awesome of you. Uh, don't, uh, we've, we've had a lot of people reach out to us, but not like this generosity is pretty, it's pretty awesome. So, um, Let's collect them up then. Hey, I'm going to get Mike to do it. I don't want to, you, you collect them up. I don't want to do touch your a, stuff. Do you have a box or something we can work with here? Or? Yeah, we never really thought about that, did we? <laughs> I thought we'd score so many games, I don't think. So, so Jay, maybe uh, take your jacket and put them all inside that? Or? <laughs> well, the shirt I have underneath doesn't allow me to do that. It's my work shirt. So it's, we'll just, I can just stack, we can stack them yeah, up. I was about to say, that's one of the only games on the list, so that isn't going to be the gold seal of approval. That's weird because this is one that has the gold seal of approval. So I wonder if it's some kind of weird variant. It could be. Yeah, that's cool, man. But that's the only one as far as I know, so. Well, I don't want to take anything I'm not supposed to, so I'm going to let no, you do it. Don't I, worry about I it. feel it's... good about that. So stop number two, day one. How'd that go? Wow. Uh, Mike, good buddy of mine. Look at all this. I think... Uh, we haven't done the official count, but I think we got 28 games in here. Yeah, he said 28. Any any rare ones, or is it all just common? Oh, man, I got two golfs. How wicked is that? Two stops, two golfs. <laughs> any rare ones? Yes, there is, as a matter of fact. Uh, I mean, you've got an RBG in there. you got Legacy of the Wizard. The biggest score out of that was this. Oh, absolutely. What's Kirby? that? Kirby. Definitely. Why is that Why is that rare? Uh, this is why what is it, that the biggest score? Well, it's a licensed, or not a licensed, it's a first party Nintendo game, which are always expensive. Again, it's not necessarily one of the rarest, but it's one I'm glad that I'm knocking off the list. And I also got a Mario and a Duck Hunt, which is awesome. I and got Taboo. I got Taboo, which is pff, so good. Oh. I got three of the four Sesame Street games. That, in my opinion, was your biggest score right there. Kirby the, aside, yeah. getting those Sesame, the Street, Sesame Street, Street games. Out. The biggest score you got came with a box oh yeah ah, uh, mike yes. has it there dr mario in the box yeah but that wasn't the only box we got today we also got a box to go along yeah, with we, the sesame street so yeah, sesame look at street. that like the original box on the back a good I mean, score or what? it's an excellent score we got these for a really really great deal so thank you mike amazing and we're well on our way to getting that 100 by the way so there you go oh, we're yeah. at 37 now yep. so we need 63 it's more. doable we got three more stops and i think i think it's doable all right, so we're going to check out what Sky's got for me. Is this another buddy then? Oh, yeah, it's one of my best friends. Best friend, better friend. Yo, yo. Come on in, man. I'm in. What's oh. going on? What's up? You just grab that door behind you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? So you're here for some games? No, I'm here for you. <laughs> I don't have very much, but I hope it's OK. I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> oh man, TV got Better not charge me a lot either. Well, I, I don't know what the going rate is, but five bucks a game. This guess. is the sweetest room ever. The sweetest music room ever. All right, so. Oh, you might want to. Am I supposed to introduce myself or anything? What's, what's this? Don't just show me the money, buddy. <laughs> Where's um, your games? You just want to do this? Yeah. All yeah. right. You got the money? What do you want? Unlicensed, um, unlicensed, first unlicensed game. Yeah, you know, I'll throw that one in and we'll go say five bucks a game, 20 buck. No. No? No, I was thinking more like less than a dollar each. A, less than a dollar each? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maybe like 10? What are they selling for? They're selling for like five bucks. I got dodgeball here, man. Remember that game? I'll give you 10 bucks for those. 10 bucks? That's fun. All right, and I'll throw in my Oh, shows. first unlicensed, I already said that, but check it out. That's a collector's what item. What is this? Oh, the, the Switch. The Switch in What's case- this uh, What does this Switch do, you remember that? It uh, turns it's, into a better game. See, this is why we're not collecting these ones, because they don't make any kind of sense. The Switches for some systems is the Switch is in one position, and then other systems is the Switch is in the other position. Oh, cool. Hold on, she was here So we got Dodgeball, Codename Viper, Bionic Commander is a good one, and Tetris. Right on. So Tetris with the book, too. 
Se separated at birth. <laughs> what? Are we? I think so. Everyone used to say we were brothers in high school. I'm the one who got the less chromosome, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, buddy. You're Shake welcome. on it. This helps, man. Definitely appreciate that. So it's a few more off the list. And, then and, right. and one that we can maybe trade. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, that appeals to all collectors of micro machines. Actually, as well I'll probably end up keeping them because I'll probably want to get the unlicensed one after since there's only like a hundred of them. So. There's a hundred of them? Yeah. Oh, shit. Third place, uh, one of my best buddies, Skylar. That was a very successful run. I got Bionic Commando and Tetris. Those two are, again, more more expensive ones. I remember still back in the day, man, borrowing your copy of Bionic Commando. Yeah. And having a friggin' blast with that it. That game's amazing. And we got Codename Viper, another Capcom game. Yeah. And what was the last one? Did we mention Dodgeball? Dodgeball. That I is love Dodgeball. one of my all time favorite NES games. So, Wow. Yeah, four great wow. ones. Disappointing though, we thought possibly he might have Metal Gear. Turns out that he got that off on another uh, collector. My already. other collector buddy, Will, scooped it out, so, so that's cool. This is the competition between friends who are collectors, and <laughs> because we had to wait till now to do the 30 days, we missed on one of the marquee uh, titles. Yep. Uh, stop number four. This is one of my, again, best friends. Uh, guy in my band, actually, named Joe. Great guy. Um, I think he's dusted off his collection and we're going to see uh, exactly what he's got there. Dust it off. Better zoom in on the side. He's not hooked on the leather water. Hello there. What's up, big boy? What's going on? It's George Michael. Oh my goodness. Yeah, come on. Come on in, folks. Welcome to my humble abode. This is it. Yeah. What's going on? It, oh, nothing. Just I was just on the computer for a little bit. Doing yeah. Some work. Nice. How are you guys doing? You guys can leave your shoes on if you want. Where are the games? <laughs> is that it? Is that all there is to it? Okay, well, the, the games are down here. Creep down in my dungeon here. This is funny. My my dad is uh, my dad is um, redoing the basement, so it's kind of like a wall of stuff. So let's go. Soccer, you're also a big soccer fan. Say, uh, go there? Italy. Where's that? Yeah. Oh, Galaxian, nice yeah. man. And that smells awful. It smells like the, <laughs> it smells, smells like, like the 80s. It smells like basement. Yeah. Oh, how much is this? Metroplex! Down there somewhere. Oh, Rotor or Rutor or whatever. Yeah, I have all bits of pieces. Rotor. This is all the stuff that isn't even in good condition. That's just... And then this is my... My Your old NES. My zapper and everything else. Nice, man. So, so what, are you, what are you getting rid of here? Um, well... I don't know if you guys want to move out to the to the area over here. Sure. If that's that's better. So you can see we've just got tons of crap everywhere. But so you got you're actually making this. I told my mom you guys can Photoshop this in the movie to make it look like a palace. Yeah, so you know I've always been a big fan of a lot of the Konami games. So I mean, I've always been, um, you know, the Castlevania and Contra series has pretty much been. We get that uh, ab roller out of the way. God knows I'm using it all the time. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I guess I'll let you go through it. I have a few oddballs, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, my dad bought me a few games when when we first got the system because he was really into like, my dad really is into like like space movies and like cowboys and Indians and like all the like spaghetti westerns and stuff like that. So he- So are you getting rid of all these? We're allowed to buy these off here? Yeah, this guys? is, uh, you know, let's, let's take a look Let's here. play, let's make a deal here. So we're gonna go through these one at a time. Ninja Gaiden two. Yes, yeah. a good it's one. A good one to knock off the list. Airwolf, excellent game. Seven twenty, right on. Blades of Steel. Nice, yeah. nice one. You have a theme song for that? Na na Narc. I wasn't feeling too well that morning, so. Yeah. Lone Ranger, very nice. Yeah, More man. Konami stuff. Nice. Friday thirteenth. Doubles. We're hitting doubles already. It's awesome. Yeah. Mario 3. Like that one. You're bound to hit some doubles through the friends. That's okay, but it's the Mario ones I want to 
want to get out of here anyway. So Contra, there you go, Mr. Konami right there. He's got his Contras. We got Dodgeball. What? Oh! <laughs> well, I told you I had the all the Contras. the fuck did you get this? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, I told you I had all the contracts. The car? What were we just talking about in the car? Okay, get, look at my hand. It's trembling with, with ecstasy. Dude. Oh, my God. It might be a exciting find. It was a disappointment as a game, in my opinion. But I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on on air. But uh, hang on a second there. Okay. Is that like a top 50 game? Like as far as... Yeah. Well, it's, it's, uh, yeah. I've never actually s held it. I guess now it's in front of you. Right? I didn't really want to, I didn't want to tell you everything I had. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise. That's definitely a surprise. That wow. was an all-time favorite for me, too, Kung Fu. Black box game yeah. number two. Wait, three, because we got right. Duck Hunt, right? Yeah. So we got Duck Hunt already. So Kung Fu. Just put that over there. Away from everything. Final Fantasy. Still one of my favorite games. Even Rob, though Rob's little... favorite, one of his favorites, yeah. right there. Yeah. Still hey. never beat it. Totally freaking. Super C. I like that. So you have all three combos. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But I tell you, that that one there is is not comparable in my opinion. Just like the the gameplay, but Super C is hard. Joe, yeah. what's the Konami code? For which one? Right. The 30 men. Do you 30 that? men? Do you want me to say it? Yeah. I think it's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. And if you, if you, if you, if you, if you're very fast, you got to go up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, then select, start, but you got to bring the main screen on. And yeah, it's, you gotta, it's only yeah. select, start if you want to go to two men. If you yeah. want to just one player, it's start. You got to have that main, main screen. I was, I was like, just, in shock here for a second. It's okay. yeah, it you got great. a lot of sleeves too, which is nice. I, like I, I think I even have a bunch of extra ones sitting around too. So there's another one that I think that uh, is usually a little harder to come across. What are you, you and the cowboy games? The cowboy. Well, I told you, my father was into like the cowboys and Indians movies, and I think he came across them. There was a, there was, um, I think there was um, like a video rental place where he used to work, and they were getting rid of the Nintendo stuff. So this was like. This is like late. It was a very small store. And, uh, dude, yeah. like, yeah. Holy cow. Uh, what else we got? We got punch out the, uh, the reissue without Tyson. Cause Tyson was a bad boy. So they reissued, uh, took Tyson out, put in Mr. Dream. Still the same game, just a different boss at the end. It's funny though. I think originally I was really disappointed when I opened that one. Yeah. Because I, I, you know, I wanted the Mike Tyson's. Well, Nintendo had the squeaky clean image, right? They didn't yeah. want that guy representing them. So yeah. they took I Tyson understand. in. How many, how many titles we got here, boys? <sighs> Let's count them up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one. Nice. Twenty-one That's titles. Nice haul. I don't want to make this harder on my wallet, but you have that is one of the twenty right there. You have. That is one of the yeah. 20 right there. Yeah. And where yeah, that is yeah. in the top 10, yeah. probably. Right I barely there. played that one. <laughs> I've never even seen those. I've never even seen them all. So there you go. What do you think, man? What are you, what are you looking at? What's a good price here? Um, well, I don't want to gouge your wallet because I do want you to be able to continue on. I mean, I don't know what type of prices you're going to come across, to be honest with you. Um... I could throw it a number. I don't know if you want. Why don't you throw it a number? See what you think this is worth in it from a from your point. I don't want to rip you off too. Fifty. Uh, I'll take fifty for it. That's it. <laughs> I'll take fifty because I want you to be able to finish this. I mean, I know that some of these games. I've I've done a little bit of of homework myself. I know some yeah. of the games are worth a little bit more, but I think at the end of the day, the, yeah. the the greater reward is to see you be able to like get this done. So like, if this right here allows you to be one step closer to well, yeah. not backing down. It definitely does. Because I know that you're gonna definitely experience, like maybe this is just like hitting up your friends. You're gonna experience some serious like roller coaster mo moments. I know you yeah. will. So let this be your this was, strength. This was one of them. Here, in that moment. Like, well, well, I just wanna say, 
I want to just tell Rob and Mike here, like this is one of the coolest collections I've seen from someone I knew who was a big fan of Nintendo. But I didn't know you had. You I probably was, didn't even know you had. Like, when I when I I mean even from the time that I that I first met you, I don't think we ever really even play video games together that much. Yeah, I know. No. It was more like we talk about it. We're too busy rocking. After, yeah. after a while, I have to be honest, there was just certain games that I just played all the time. Like, Dracula's Curse, like, took up my time. Like, I don't know why. Simon's Quest, I re I played it over and over again. Of course, all the Contras. I think after a while, I just wanted the entertainment factor to be instantaneous. And You know the problem now, Jay? The bar has really been set for, like, rare finds in a day. Yeah. And I think you're at 63 games. You know what? It's crazy, man, because I thought for sure that it was going to be all commons, which was still good. I'd marking them off the list. Why, but why did you think it'd all be commons? I just figured that my buddies would know and maybe not want to part with the ones that are more rare, but it seems like Joe didn't know. Well, he knew, but... Not to that extent, or he doesn't really care much anymore. I think maybe some of it is you're approaching it more of a numbers game at first. Like, is it is the is the seven hundred whatever still just daunting, and you're just trying to whittle that down? So, well, the the twenty elusive games, in my opinion, I would rather find them. Uh, like that means more to me to find them, where I can get a really great deal on them, as opposed to getting all the common ones out of the way. So, yeah, I mean, we found a lot, like five pretty rare ones today already. So, yeah, the bar is set high. Okay, so now we're headed to um, Zach's house. Zach's a longtime buddy of mine. He works with me. And uh, we're going to see what he has, uh, has to offer. And it better be good. What's up? Why are you outside? Come out here. It's, it's too dark. Come out. What's up, big boy? Let's <laughs> go. Look at this. Hell. I almost went to that house over there. <laughs> All right, what you got for me? Got some sweet ones right there. Yeah, turtles. Little blasters. Supercars. Yeah, I've never seen that one, have you? No. Why these ones? Why are you getting rid of these? Did you just check for the original seal? Yeah. Yeah, they all, they all have the original seal. I don't right? have to pay for it if it's not laced. Well, this one you can't see it because it has well, a certain that's, that's store. Well, that's turtles, so. <laughs> certain store. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you want them? Yeah, what do you want? What are we looking at? I just, I want enough to buy a sandwich, man. Five bucks. Five, Five bucks? bucks? <laughs> How about the sandwiches where I buy them are $2. <laughs> Two bucks? Three bucks. Two fifty. Okay, Two fifty. All right, Duck. sucker. It's been quite an eventful day, my friend. Um, so just from Zach there, we got uh, some stuff. <laughs> Turtles was the best score there. Uh, again, this is another one from Konami Ultra. That's um, not rare, but it's always a little pricey. So I'm glad I uh, got a really good deal on that one. And then we got some really bizarre ones like Road Blasters and Where's Waldo and Supercars, which I've actually never even seen. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, all in all, man, the, the first day I think was really, really good. But, uh, now that the day is gone, what do you think? I mean, highs, lows? Lows, none. Uh, highs were getting some real, real gems that I never expected we'd see yet. Does that make sense? The, uh, the highlight game... For me personally, it's Contra Force. That's one I've always wanted. Um, got some great Capcom and Konami titles out of the way, which is great. We got two of the three Super Mario Brothers, which is awesome. We still need two. Um, yeah. And what about tomorrow? Tomorrow, the friends, the friends are done. Tomorrow we get up and we head back to Sid's house, which is like my idea of heaven, I would say. Um, He's got some bins he wants us to check out. So we're going to see uh, see what he's got. He's got three big Tupperware bins full of NES carts. So I'm looking forward to just jumping in like Scrooge McDuck right in there and just fishing around and seeing what we get. I had an idea of what today was going to be like, and it was the exact 
opposite of what I thought. I thought it was going to be all common titles. Again, I'm very grateful for getting all the games at a really, really reasonable price. Um, but it really just goes to show you, like, you never know what's out there. You never know what you're going to find. And today, day one definitely proves that for sure. So I'm excited, man. Excited for tomorrow. So let's get out of here. Autobots roll out.